Well, a very good day to you, my Dominant Living Partners. This is The Dominator coming at you, and I have some very exciting information I would like to share with you. I just picked up, and I'm now recording presently, this conversation with you on my brand new iPhone 7 256 gigabyte er, 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 telephone that Apple doesn't even sell these phones anymore. Now, I met somebody on Facebook. <clears throat> Actually, I met about 30 people on Facebook, truth be known. I, uh, I find that negotiating <coughs> works the best. The primary principle <coughs> of negotiating that is just the simplest, quickest solution for anybody to get the best deal, to get the best product at the best price every time is to shop, 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 to compare, to shop three different locations, to compare pricing. In this case here, because of the technology of the day, I was actually able to pull off 30 different potential iPhone uh, sellers that I was looking for on Facebook. And these sellers uh, all had a product at a price that I was looking for. So I reached out to each and every one of them. And I was looking for responses. And as I went through the process, I was also able to filter down and, and find the exact phone that I was looking for. So then I kind of eliminated uh, the phones that I didn't want or the, the phones I did like, but they didn't have enough memory. I determined I wanted 256 gigabytes. I had my last iPhone 6 only had 16 gigabytes, put that in perspective. So I've got eight times the memory now. I can store every photo and video I've ever taken and store it up in iCloud and I can put it all directly on my phone. I've got that much memory now and still have about three quarters of the memory left over. Put all my Spotify, iTunes, uh, whatever, all of it on there. So anyways, what I wanted to share with you specifically was the principle of negotiating that is second to none. You will, I can almost assure you that you have never heard these negotiating techniques anywhere before and I want to sh I want to unravel it for you and I want to share with you how you can do this yourself. So, I picked up an iPhone 256 gigabyte that I was looking for and I was going to pay this gentleman $400 for it for a used 256 gigabyte iPhone which as I sat down um, and met him in the Apple store in Chinook Mall he uh, and I went through a discovery process over the next hour or so of finding out all the problems with his phone. So first off, he had a camera issue that he says, well, he doesn't need to do selfies. He doesn't do selfies, so he didn't really miss the fact that the camera didn't work on the front of the camera. Well, I do a lot of selfies. I'm doing one right now, and I do need that front camera. So that was issue number one on his $400 phone that was supposedly in excellent condition <laughs> as he reported to me on Facebook. Um, so issue number one, front camera doesn't work. Uh, that's going to cost $195. Sorry, no, that's going to cost, yeah, $195 is what I'm quoted at the Apple store. They said, no problem, we can get that camera fixed for you. That'll be $195. Second problem they go into, and I'm not concerned, I'm not running away at this point. I'm not terrified that um, I'm getting a bad deal and oh no, call off the call off the uh, negotiations here because you got a, a broken camera. No, this actually adds weight and credibility and strength to my negotiating position as I'll share with you shortly. Broken camera. Secondly, he has uh, in running the diagnostics, they discover that his battery is run down to about 88% and they say at 80% that's pretty much when you need to be considering getting a new battery. So he's got a excellent condition iPhone 7 256 gigabytes that he's willing to sell it for $400 cash because it's in excellent condition. Now has a broken front camera. Now has a battery that's down to 88% and basically it only has 8% of its 20% range that uh, <clears throat> has any value to me and I got to then buy a new battery. Strike number two. 
I said, okay, is there anything else wrong with it? Well, they're running the diagnostics. Uh, everything looks good, but we won't know for sure uh, the situation with the camera, whether we can actually change that camera until we run it into the back and open it up. So <clears throat> we both agreed, this gentleman and I agreed that that would be the best interest for both of us, whether we transact or we don't transact to know what's going on with this camera. So <clears throat> they, uh, they pull it up and discover that it's got water on the inside components. And they said, when it's got water on it, we won't touch it. It's too much of a risk. So now Apple, willing to pay a hundred, willing to charge rather $195 for a new camera, they'd be willing to charge $65 for a new battery. They're not willing to charge anything because they're not willing to even touch a phone that's got water damage. So now this gentleman's iPhone has progressively went down from $400 down to, um, $157 we had negotiated a new price when we recognized there was a camera that needed to be replaced uh, or actually 150 I think is what we agreed to to now it has uh, water damage so at this point I'm not willing to pay anything for a water damaged phone that doesn't work and so he said that well, he's got to pay his rent and he's looking to get something. So here's a guy who's got in good faith uh, a willingness to sell me an iPhone in good condition, in great condition, according to the Facebook ad, for $400. He's now willing to sell it to me for $150 because he recognizes having gone through the process at Apple Store, which I recommend anybody who's going to do something like this go to the reseller or go to the retailer, rather, Apple in this case. Because Apple is fantastic, they will—they're happy to do it, and they've done—they do this a lot for people selling phones or iPads or whatever uh, online used products. So running the full diagnostic, broken, broken camera, uh, water damage, poor battery. So we were already at 150 before the water damage. Now I'm saying, okay, now what? So what's your new price? Well, I got I. I can't give this thing away. I got to get something for it. I said, okay, well, make me a new offer. He says, well, a hundred bucks. I'm not going to give this thing away. I'll use it as an iPod just to play music. I said, well, it's not worth a hundred bucks to me. I said, tell you what, I'll meet you halfway. I'll go 50 bucks. Make a long story short, we wound up settling on $60 and I buy his rights to this iPhone. Now, with the iPhone, I now have the rights to turn around and say to Apple, <clears throat> okay, you've said to me that I can buy a new phone because of the water damage, uh, which we'd already, I, I missed, missed this part of the step, but they said they would be willing to sell me a new iPhone for $420 plus tax, so $440 approximately. Well, they don't even sell this phone anymore. They only have this phone in the back for situations like this. But the most that iPhone even sell, uh, Apple even sells now is an iPhone 7 128 gigabyte. They don't even make available to the general public the 256. I asked, how much would the 128 cost me? She said $769. So with tax, we're, we're like over, over an $800 phone that I'm now looking at picking up for $440. So half price, twice the memory. Yeah, definitely, no brainer. It's well worth my while negotiating that phone for 60 bucks that the guy wanted to sell me on Facebook when, he, when we first opened discussions for $400. So I get the $400 phone off him for six, the, the water damaged, broken camera, uh, uh, poor battery, great condition phone for $400 that he wants to sell to me. I get it off him for 60 bucks. So I buy this new phone from Apple for $420 um, and Apple says, oh, we'll take your old phone back. And uh, I said, well, what, what are you going to give me for that? They said, we'll give you a, a gift card. So we'll give you the gift card first for your old phone for $150. We'll put that towards your new phone of $440. So your net cost, Robert's going to cost you $290. So I buy a brand new iPhone 7 256 gigabyte that they don't even sell to the general public and I get a brand new one out of the box for $290, my net cost. 
plus the 60 I had to pay for the rights to be able to transact with Apple buying this other guy out of his broken phone for 60 bucks. So a total cost $350. I wind up walking out of there with a brand new iPhone 7 256 gigabytes for $50 less at 350 than I was going to buy this used crappy one from some guy on Facebook for 400 and I got a brand new one with a 90 day warranty direct from Apple if anything should happen but what's going to happen it's a brand new phone out of the box for $350 how does that happen I will tell you exactly how that happens because there's no way I promise you, you will ever replicate that exact scenario. It's impossible to replicate that exact scenario. How do I do it then? How do I find deals like this? How do I get myself in situations like this? How do I position myself to get such great deals? Well, it's very simple. It's called putting your financial affairs in order. And I've shared this with you previously. I'm on my Facebook page, may not have shared this with you already on YouTube, but the key is you got to put thing, first things first. And the first thing that I put first is I honor my Lord Jesus Christ with the first fruits of all my increase. I tithe. And when I tithe, He blesses me, He blesses my socks off. And he shows me deals like this that nobody else would ever find in a million years. The, the, the people at Apple were like, we've never seen that happen. And we work at Apple, and we've never seen that happen. You got a smoking deal there. Buying this phone outright for 60 bucks to be able to transact. And with a total net cost of $350 for less than I was going to buy a used broken phone for on Facebook. That's walking in the blessing. But the blessing is available to all who will yield themselves to the final authoritative financial control and of financial affairs of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. You may not have made him your Lord Jesus Christ, but he is still the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you put him first financially, he puts you first. Scripture says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things, all these sorts of things that I'm walking in right now, all these things will be added unto you as well, my friend. God bless you. And keep dominating. This is the Dominator.